Hello everyone, welcome back to Fallout 4. Uh, I know, well the first four episodes were a little bit hectic. Um, I had work with a few kinks, but hopefully um, we should be good for the next... I'm going to try to record as much as I can for the next few hours and see if we can get a, a little bit more. I'll, again, these will be cut down to about 30 to 40 minute long episodes per, per uh, session. So, whatever you have... Per, uh, comments you have or like tips I'm not gonna be able to see them or be able to read back on because I'll probably already be done for, like within a few hours that I am playing the game but uh without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the world of Fallout 4 once again with our missions with, with Nick Valentine confirm hmm. the flamer Mm. Ah yes, the flamer. It, the most flamboyant of weapons. Alright. <sighs> Alright, we're back. Thank you, and we're good. We're continuing with our we're Nick Valentine mission. Mission to, um... It's actually been a few... <laughs> it's actually been a little while since I've left this played, so I might need to check up on what the exact uh, case we're on. And, uh, again, all the load times will be cut down for, for uh, reasons. That way you don't have to sit here and, like, look at all everything that goes on. I like the pen. That is nice. Let's see here. I don't know. Yeah, funny lake. kid. He used to be. Alright, we're on disappearing aid, so now we need to investigate the Mega sur Surgery Center. Uh, where is that? That's in town. So. I might drop off the power armor because it gets a little damaged. I uh, can't run because I'm overcompensated. So we're just gonna have to walk slowly to this guy. Hello, Doc. What you cooking? Doctor. A new patient. Doc. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Uh, it's actually about a receipt, sir. Yeah, Please, I really don't have time to deal with complaints or refunds right now. Dr. Crocker handles those questions. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. Oh, come on, Doc. Where is Doc Crocker? I'm a doctor, not a secretary. I'm sure he'll be around eventually. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. What medical needs are you asking me here, Dak? Because right now I'm pretty good, other than broken armor. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That's it. Kicking a can hide. Ouch. Hurtful, but understandable. Uh... I'm not really interested. Not today. Very well. Huh. Well, not the most polite of people. Alright, I'm gonna go take this off, because I can't run. I mean, granted, I could probably run. There we go. There we go. Much better. Don't talk to me. I'm just, uh. Let's see here. We'll wait about seven hours. 
See if anything changes. Hey, Doc. Let's get you examined right away. Time is not on the side of the surgeon. Oh, for the love of God. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. Go over your symptoms with me. Uh, ask you I think I sent up some rads out there. All right, let's flush your system. <sighs> I kind of find out what this doctor is. That's that. Anything else bothering you? Uh, that was it. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. Hey, Polly. Fresh meat. I ain't selling nothing else, so decide what you're getting. <sighs> Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads? They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes, they get weird stuff from the caravans, too. Weird stuff? Weirder than two-headed cow meat? Yeah, princess. Weirder than that. Mirelurk, bloat flies, rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. Well, sure, if you like lethal doses of radiation. <laughs> uh... I'll think about it. Yes. Hmm. Oh, she's a charmer. So what the hell do I do now? There's an awful lot of blood leading into the surgery center basement. Should try and find a way down there. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Uh. Okay. No. Ah. Uh. Obtain the surgery cellar key. Now we need so how can I do that? Doc. Look, don't dally. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. Uh yeah, can I explain all this blood leading to the cellar? Dr. Crocker must have tracked some fluids when he went down into the cellar. He's Sometimes not as fastidious as I am between surgeries. Here, the cellar key. Go check for yourself. I'm sure you'll find there's nothing going on here besides medicine. That was easy. I thought I had to pick your pocket when you weren't looking. Uh, let's go to... You've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. naughty, You're naughty. Not whoa, 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 whoa! Easy, easy, pal. Um, um, Sterling, doctor. What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. It was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life. Okay, okay. Let's just uh, all be cool here. Let's. I'm just gonna have to arrest you. You're gonna pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. Yeah, let's not do anything rash. No. No one can find out. No one can find out. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Okay. Okay. All right, well, at least I tried. <sighs> well, seems like the good doctor lost his head about things. Looks like it'll be a closed I casket think you funeral. Owe me an explanation. What happened here? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, let's see here. I guess the best way, to be honest. Dr. Crocker killed Earl Sterling. See for yourself. Dr. Crocker killed Earl? The, the facial reconstruction. So he really did go through with it. That explains a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Dr. Crocker always cared about his reputation, but this. This is inhuman. <sighs> well, it's on your hands. You could have stopped this. You're, you're right. I should have known Dr. Crocker wasn't in any condition to continue practicing medicine. I should have known he killed Earl. Please, just go. I'll send the report to security and clean up this mess. <sighs> Had a good time, huh, Doc? Ow! Okay. Well, this was awkward. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just gonna. Let's just go back to the Odyssey, huh? <laughs> and pretend this didn't happen. We're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. Uh, I can fix yeah. anything. Yeah, you fixed things, all right. Fixed yourself for some time in a Diamond City jail cell. Jail cell? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Doc Crocker isn't going to jail. He's going to go back to his surgery, where people love him. And they love him because Doc Crocker never loses patience. He just makes people happy. And he also likes to catch very good birds! It's, all right, let's end the space You made a mistake, but you can still do the right thing, Doctor. Just think this through. Suffered today. You're, you're right. There's one thing I can do. Only one thing is going to make this all better. I can fix whoa. Anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Well. Not doing that much good. At this What's time. going on here? Is, is that Dr. Crocker? Looks like it'll be a closed casket funeral. I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Doc Crocker killed Earl Sterling. I found out, and then he killed himself. Guess he couldn't handle the guilt. Dr. Crocker killed Earl? The, the facial reconstruction. So he really did go through with it. That explains a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Dr. Crocker always cared about his reputation, but this, this is inhuman. Yeah, I'm still you keeping let, up with you. Let this happen, Doctor. You could have stopped this. You're, you're right. I should have known Dr. Crocker wasn't in any condition to continue practicing medicine. I should have known he killed Earl. Please, just go. I'll send the report to security and clean up this mess. <sighs> well. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Doc. This is all steel, so I can't really take it. Though I'd like to. Oh well. Let's go. Wait, what? What the hell? God. Dang it.
Okay, uh, sorry if you saw a little jump cut there. Uh, the reason being is because something went wrong. Uh, two things went wrong. Uh, there was a bit of a system error and my recording wasn't, wasn't working, so we kind of had to restart all the way kind of back here. Uh, the mission was complete, we got the payment, but uh, we're going to start on the mission I was trying to work on earlier, and that was the sh Silver Shroud mission, and I did not mean to pull out my revolver. Uh, we're going to try that again. And uh, try this again. So we're just going to go here. And... Let's see here. We're just gonna, gonna start here because when I was at good night where I couldn't find it. But uh, there's a mission I want to go back to uh, later on that came up when we were there. So fingers crossed. Oh, hello, buddy. Uh, nope, I'm good. Back with Kent Connolly. Oh. Well, I guess this way's a little bit longer, isn't it? <sighs> Alright, well. Shouldn't take us too long. But I am gonna. Oh! So I do have to go through Good Neighbor. But the question is, where in Good Neighbor am I looking for? Whoever this brotherhood of steel is. Oh, I had to go to the memory den. I did not know that. I thought I was actually looking for a place rather than a person. That was my mistake. Alright. See if this Kent Connolly person is here. Oh, enjoying yourself in good neighbor? It's a heck of a town, ain't it? Oh yeah, a real swing dinger. You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh. Hello. You're not Irma. Nope. How you doing, buddy? Hey there. Good neighbors, crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. Uh, yeah, the world's horrible. The whole world's crazy. N -n no argument here. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. Yeah, listen to the pre war. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. Um. Yeah, no, let's talk. Save it from the past. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh, man, that's amazing. You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83. Ah, <laughs> uh, fanboy. Uh... Wasn't he a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days must take some getting used to. It's... yeah, that's an understatement. That's an understatement. Look bad, but we gotta try to make it better. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life, so we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Um, what's your plan, buddy? What plan? I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. 
They made it for the TV show. Will you help? Um, you know what? Yeah, sure. I'll get it. I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. Hey, not a problem, man. So, let's go to Hubris Comics. Actually, I think I've been there before. Let's see here. Um, Connor House, Hayden, Margaret Mall. Mission Miss Keith State House. Yeah, here we are. You were comics. Yes. God dang it. Alright, we'll go out here and fast travel. Hmm. It's lucky that I actually did kind of walk past it. Because this will make it a whole lot easier. Yes. Gornak, the Barbarian. Jungle of the Bat Babies. Be wary, for the uh, teeth suckle upon the nip of a man that has no milk to feed, yet it does not care. It does not care. Unless you enter that sort of thing, then you are indeed a freak. A weird, weird, bad baby eleven freak. Ah, here we go. Oh. Hello. Scavenger's lead. Anything useful? Gun, bobby cab, crispy squirrel bits. Hmm. Director outfit. Hmm. Just in case. Of course there's ghouls. Teleporting cool. Air rush. What's that? Oh. Any more? Any more ghouls I have to worry about? Hmm. Yes. Apparently gain one chance of avoiding all damage from the attack. Okay. Sweet. I will take that. And the uh, pre roll money. It's giving you trouble, I can give that terminal. That's a good point, Nick. Hey. There's something you need? Can't break the code. Over here. And do.
Wait there. I'll stay put. Looks like you got something to say. That was all I had. Sure, sure. Hey. What's the plan? Hey. I'm listening. Come on. Done and done. Heads up. I'm all ears. Move here. Good plan. I want. Hold position. Guess I'll settle in then. Here. Count on it. Packing this is beyond me. I'm. <clears throat> I'm asking Nick to unlock the heck. Oh my god. Head over there. Sure thing. Heads up. Now I'll uh, see what I can do. Stay there. I'll wait for your signal. <sighs> Moving out. Good plan. Yes, Think finally. You can unlock that terminal? Good plan. Yes, it's a good plan. I've been trying to get that plan for a while now. Shouldn't be too much trouble. <sighs> Finally. Alright, let's see what we got in this thing. <sighs> Safe control. Yes. Let's engage the lock. Percent of the pre-orders picked up last month ran out. Gornak ran out of Gornak twice, requesting additional copies of Gornak. Under twenty Gornak, one or two Gornak, the barbarian lost, lost in the snows of lust. Eighty-six Captain Cosmos, radioactive spacemen from space, spaceception. Uh, Thirty-one tail was from the front, the Red Terror. Uh, Ten and. Underground life, Vault Boy Special, and two Manta Man, Manta Man, The Voyage of the Deep. Well, uh, September. Uh, let's see here. So we got in here. Excuse me. And safe. And a automatic laser pistol? Ooh. Using cell go for later and pre -only. Building a collection Ooh. or something? Maybe. Let's uh let's take a look at that. Automatic laser pistol. Let's give this a while. Let's go in here. Scavengers are out, but I can't. Scavenger outfit. What's the scavengers are out say? Hmm. 
Let me read it. <sighs> Check out Hubris Comics up Newberry Street. Store ground floor ought to be easy pickings. VD. Skipper's note. Can't believe I saw enter this. Who wants this crap? Collectors? The boy, the boss says. So who's the fool here? Them or us? Well, apparently someone wasn't a big fan of collector's items. <laughs>